I'm Lauren Little and I'm the owner of Edible Arrangements in Avondale and in the shops of Bartram Park and I am powered by the Small Business Development Center. I'm a franchise owner where we create fresh fruit bouquets as well as dip fruit boxes that are delivered within the Jacksonville community and are also available for pickup. My primary customers are anyone that enjoys fruit, may um, love to have a healthy lifestyle. Um, corporate gifting is huge for us. It's a perfect gift to give out to clients, uh, big or small. I think as a business owner, one of my initial challenges was getting out and networking and um, bringing people into my business. I spent a lot of, I made the attention to spend a lot of time in the store so I can learn the trends and the cycles of the business. Well, first of all, I think my company and myself personally has built its confidence around the Small Business Development Center because we all face challenges and the experts down at the Small Business Development Center have seen it all. And so they're there to help you. Sometimes it's just that comfort of knowing that there's an expert that's been there, done that, has seen it. Uh, I remember my counselor telling me that it would be five years, actually five years before people would have confidence that edible arrangements is a business that's here to stay. Initially, I thought, you gotta be kidding me, but he was right. It has been at least five years where now we are solid in the community. Um, we have uh, a very strong reputation, and it's all it's attributed to the counseling that I received and the confidence that I received from the Small Business Development Center. I am proud to say that um, I am the Small Business Administrator's Administration's uh, 2013 Veteran Business Owner of the Year for not only the state of Florida but the North Florida District. And that nomination came from my counselor from the Small Business Development Center. So I'm very proud of that, uh, being a veteran, but then also being recognized by the Small Business Development Center and the Small Business Administration as a Veteran Business Leader of the Year. One of the things, in um, 2010 I was awarded um, Franchisee of the Year by the Women's Business Owners Association. And that too was a very moving moment for me because um, during my acceptance speech, you know, one of the things that I wanted to focus on as, uh, as a nominee, as a candidate, was the fact that I was a woman-owned business owner, I was African-American owned business owner, I'm organically grown here, I went to school here in Duval County in high school, and that I'm a veteran. And so when I can talk to the audience, I can touch on all those points and that the programs that we have in Jacksonville are very supportive of women-owned businesses. There's a network that you can always uh, go to to talk about any challenges you have, and our challenges are sometimes a little different. So being a woman business owner gives, I think, a lot of potential business owners the confidence that they need. They have someone they can go to that they can relate with.